What's up, guys? It's RVP. This is episode number three of my RBI 18 New York Yankees franchise. We're going to be playing the Boston Red Sox today and simulating a bunch of games, and we will be finishing off the season today. Hopefully next episode we will be into the playoffs. So Brett Gardner is gone for about two weeks. Um, basically, the Red Sox, we lost the first two games in the series. Um, they are really our only threat to win the uh, AL Easter. We are a game behind them at the moment. If we win this game, we could tie up the division. That's why I'm playing this game specifically. Base is loaded, and that one is a double through the gap. One run scores, two, and that'll be all. So 2 nothing Yankees. Mitch Moreland to the plate now. That one won't get by Gregorius, but a run will score. It's 2-1. to one. Vasquez takes a strike. Base is loaded still. That one down the line. Fair. And the Red Sox trying to get another run in there. And he is out. They tied up at two. Still the bottom of the second. Still two to two. Aaron Hicks dives for the out. The runner third will tag and score. It's three to two Red Sox. Larry Sanchez to the plate. Runner on third. Top of the third. Two out. Strike one. Oh for 2. Had a double in his first at bat. Sanchez with a single. That will score the run at third. And we'll tie the game at 3. Martinez! That one's gone over the green monster. And the Red Sox take the lead once again in this seesaw game. Didi now with the bases loaded. Down by one. That one does not get past the shortstop, but everybody's safe. It's 4-4. Four four. Still 4-4, four four, now going into the top of the eighth inning. Hopefully, something's got to give. It's been really a back-and-forth game. A lot of hits, a lot of bases loaded opportunities for both sides. Some capitalized on, some were not. Um, but now we got two more innings. Sanchez, 3-for-3 three three today. He is having a great game. And he will lead off with a single. That one drops. Yeah, I got to say, RBI, you know, I like it. But there's some things like, you know, he tries to throw out the runner at first from center field. It's like a little unrealistic sometimes. Um, and an error there, but he'll stay at second. So Gregorius on with another single. Two on, nobody out for the Yankees. Aaron Hicks 0 for 3 today. Big opportunity to score a run. And that one will not fall. He's out, and runners will return. Neil Walker. Slightly inside, he'll pop it up. That's two out. Brandon Droy, the nine hitter, 0 for 3 today. That's a single. And it'll stay put at third. Frazier, the leadoff batter today. He's one for four of the run. And he will pop that up into the shallow left field. And we are still tied at four. A great opportunity to score a run, but we couldn't do so. And it's four to four heading to the bottom of the eighth. 23 runs so far in this game. 12 for the Red Sox, 11 for us. Xander Bogart's up. Severino will come out of the game. And let's put in Robertson. 5.15 ERA, struggling a little bit this year. But an easy ground at a walker for the first out. Mitch Moreland now, the seven hitter. Takes one inside for ball one. Ball two, it drops. Ball three, 3-0 three -oh now to Moreland. And he'll slap that one into center field. And Hicks will get to that. 
So now the Red Sox have a runner on with one out in the eighth. Vasquez slams that one over the green monster. It'll be a two-run home run. And Boston takes a 6-4 lead. First pitch he swung at and just crushed it over the green monster. And now we have a two-run deficit. Eduardo Nunez now to the plate. I'll keep Robertson in for now, and he'll give up a single. Hicks gets to that. And he is safe just by a little bit. It was pretty close. Almost had him with the throw. Mookie Betts now, leadoff hitter up. Fouls off, strike one. Inside, and he will ground in to a double play. So Vasquez hits a two-run shot, giving Boston a 6-4 lead. As we head to the top of the ninth, our last chance. It's Judge, Stanton, Bird. 2-3-4 headers up now for the Yankees. If we're going to make a run at this game, these are the hitters you want. I mean, you get one on. And then, you know, Stanton, either, any, all three of these guys really could just crush one and tie this game up. They will put Kimbrell in, their closer. He's got a 10.4 ERA. And he'll give a strike to Aaron Judge. That one he hits. That one would be foul. The 0-2 on Judge. Shot right back to the pitcher for the first out. Stanton up now. All these guys home run threats, and Stanton will get in with a single. Just beats out that throw. Greg Bird could tie it up with one swing. Not that one. He'll pop it up to left field. Gary Sanchez now could be the final out of this game. He could tie it up with a swing. Stanton on first, the OO. And that one will drop for a single. Stanton will get to third. And oh, now it caught in a rundown. And he's out. That will end the game. Bad base running there. That was my fault. And we will fall to the Red Sox. 6-4. They advance 64-49. and 49, And we are now 61-50. and 50. I will simulate the rest of the year now. Or I'll simulate up to the 17th. Uh, and I'll see where we are in the standings. If I have to play some games, then I'll do another episode. Um, hopefully we can do well in these couple games. Uh, Warren, Judge, all right, no big injuries. Uh, looking pretty good, looking like a lot of wins. Big win streak to start that month. And we are ahead by five games, so I'll, we will simulate um, the last one, two, three, four series of the year. And we beat the Red Sox a couple times. And we'll simulate this. Missed that last game. So we are the champions of the AL East at 96 and 66. And the postseason will come up in episode number four a week from today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Peace out.